uh, good evening everyone i am a researcher but more importantly i am an observer we are going to come back to this but let me start with two very recent personal episodes the pictures that are going to follow from here are from my actual instances with real interactions with people and from actual instances at one point or the other here's a typical scene from a primary school in punjab with 400 children and how do you think these kids have their access to the technology three computers 400 children and three computers the only way these computers were used till now was a traditional turn by turn method by this manner with a weekly period each child would get his next shot after 6 weeks 6 weeks and nobody solved this problem for so long but a very subtle observation solved it in such a place with limited resources the children were seen sharing the assets amongst themselves for a limited time but what if instead of sharing these assets for a limited time multiple students could share a single resource what if instead of having multiple computers you could attach multiple mice to a single computer we use this existing technology to develop collaborative games for children where multiple students would sit on a single computer and collaborate and learn and play with equal engagement even with measly resources each child would get his next shot the very next period isn't it fascinating how a deep observation leads to a very clear and obvious solution that was always right there let's look at another such example of observation manu choudhary of age 45 years is a professor and he pursues his research work in electrical instrumentation he has been publishing his novel research work for quite some time but there's one problem he is 40% visually impaired and he can't access his own research work online the only way that he would access the web was by increasing the proximity of his eyes to the display he started using a software that knows of his accessibility requirement and automatically changes the web according to his needs for the first time manu goes to a research library's website and all by himself is able to read the abstract of his own work all by himself imagine the bliss on his face doing so independently the point that i want to drive in both these examples is that it wasn't rocket science to crack those problems all it took was a thoughtful observation the disabled people the point that i want to make is when the feelings and the requirements of the people resonate with your observations and that is when the change happens and that is precisely the kind of change that we are trying to bring with our project web assist to help the disabled and the aged access the web at any computer with ease this increasingly important web for the most part remains inaccessible to the people across a spectrum of disabilities all it takes for a website to be accessible is a few additional steps so that is it is inclusive to a larger audience the disabled most commonly make use of accessibility tools to mediate their access to the web for example in the case of a visually impaired individual of impairment degrees of 50 to 60% he might just use software magnifiers to make the text larger and legible in probably higher degrees of impair- impairment a screen reader might be used which is a program that reads out the text that is there in front of the screen or probably in other cases of disabilities such as dexterity or mobility impaired individuals they might make use of mouse sticks to type on keyboard etc each individual has their very own specific requirements and it is not limit to limited to a blanket group have you ever wondered why do they keep salt and pepper separately at a restaurant why can't they just put the salt and give it to me in the food precise the different requirement and that is how a visually impaired individual might have a requirement of 200% enlargement in text but at the same time he might want the background and foreground to be of opposite contrast in probably higher cases of disability higher degrees of disability there might be a requirement of thicker style text going across the screen 
or probably in cases of lesser degrees of impairment, there might be a requirement of just enlarging the text to which the user is pointing to. Such a user's very own requirements is, very, is his very own accessibility profile. And instead of having a single big application that tries to solve all of this, WebAssist has a number of single distinct accessibility tools which do only a single job at one time. Each tool would basically do just something like increase the size of the text or speak the selection text or probably adjust the background and foreground contrast automatically. Now imagine I'm a visually impaired person and my requirements are to use the tools X, Y and Z. That is my accessibility profile. But here's the crunch of the solution. This accessibility profile, instead of staying on your machine, it stays on the web. So whenever I'm access accessing the web on my machine, the web keeps on adapting to my requirements. But even when I'm accessing the web at a public place like a library, lab, classroom, etc., the web still keeps on adapting to my requirements. That's the kind of independence it gives. The extent of problems that this solves is huge. We have removed the specific machine dependence for the disabled user. The idea is that the technology should touch everything that a human would touch. So even when he's accessing the web on his mobile phone, he still has the same ease of access. Or even when he is or she is at his friend's place or at lab, he can still use the web without any additional struggle. WebAssist works on the model that anybody can come and develop an extension for WebAssist. And the next moment, somebody else would be probably integrating the same in his or her profile. In an effort to be very inclusive, WebAssist also caters to a number of disabilities such as dyslexia, dexterity impairment, color blindness, etc. So I'm going to show an example of a third party extension that somebody else developed for dexterity impaired individuals, people who use mouse sticks to type on keyboard. What they can do is instead of using the mouse sticks, they can just hover their mouse over the alphabets and it would just type without using the mouse sticks. And they can still achieve speed similar to keyboard typing. Let's have a look at it. So the user just uses the mouse to hover over the alphabets. And the next alphabet appears according to the probability. And then the next according to the probability. And that's how you achieve the speed in keyboard typing but you don't use a mouse stick. I think that's pretty amazing. <laughs> WebAssist involves a lot of participation from different spheres. Developers developing extensions, users giving feedback for iterations, and there are a number of stakeholders that are benefited in this process. In the future, Imagine the elderly and the disabled each having their own accessibility profiles, being able to go to the ATMs and public places to be able to do their tasks independently. Imagine just picking up any device and the device just adapts to your particular requirements. Imagine the companies building products and services as they do today, but just building extensions later to inculcate accessibility in their products. That's the scenario of ubiquitous accessibility that we see with WebAssist's vision of a truly inclusive web. Meet Arjun. He's giving his class 10th board exams this year, and I met him at his school's annual function, where he expressed that he only goes to his coaching class just to, his, just to listen to his teacher. The day there would be any computer exercises involved, he would just drop the class and come back home, whether it be at school or at his coaching class. This is a very common profile on WebAssist and he just started using the solution and it works beautifully for him right out of the box. And that's how we want the tech to work for everyone, right out of the box. From now on, let's start observing the problems more carefully. From now on, let's work together towards a truly inclusive web. Thank you.